What's going on everyone? And this box is the diffuser that I ordered from AliExpress for the Mazda 6. Now I don't know if you can tell in this picture, but this box got the gangster lean going on, kind of like his little drum. It's bent in every dimension possible. So I'm really hoping that my splitter is not destroyed. Now, the reason why I ordered from AliExpress and not from MV Tuning is because I have quad tips and I did not want to pay, you know, three, four hundred dollars for a splitter and then have to cut it up. So this one is actually made for quad tips and it was $220 shipped. So it's cheaper and should fit my application, hopefully. So first we're gonna see if it's all one piece. And this doesn't look good right here in this section. Man, this box is like, that's like a 45 degree angle. At least they used enough bubble wrap. All right, we got some double-sided tape. Oh, but the ad said that it didn't come with one. It has a third brake light. I did. Alright, so it looks like it's in one piece. Uh oh. Nope, it's broke. Damn it! I thought it was uh, gonna be undamaged because this bitch is broke by broke. Broke as hell. It is not. I got a two piece. And this weave look fake as hell. It's like a hydro, it's like they hydro dipped it. See this? This bitch is broke. Damn it, boy. Probably end up fixing this one. But you know, it's a pretty clean break. Um, but <sighs> we'll see. So let's do a functionality check. I have my little Milwaukee M12 battery black and red we'll hook that up it gives us a solid light black and yellow it gives us a blinking light that's dope I like that all right so me being me I got some of my gorilla glue gel and I got it reattached it's not perfect it has like a weird little bend in it. I really want this on for this weekend when we go to Georgia to Southern Fresh 9. So I'm going to continue to work with this. Today is Sunday. We're leaving on Friday. And I still need to paint this black. Because I'm not running this carbon fiber. This fake carbon fiber hydro dip, whatever it is on here. Like The plan was never to run it in this carbon fiber state. So... I'm going to see if I can get these pieces to set up uh, a little bit better. It is attached and holding on. Like I said, it looks like crap. I'm going to try to make it look least less like crap. Um, so hopefully it looks halfway decent at least. What I'm going to attempt to do, and I don't know if this is right, wrong, or indifferent, or whatever. I don't know. I did just some quick Googling. This is what I came up with. I got some body filler and some glazing putty. Clean it, prep it, sand this down as straight as what I can get it. I'm gonna take my heat gun and kind of form that up a little bit. And I'm gonna do a skim coat and then hit it with the blade with the glazing putty. I am not going to record it because I am not a professional. I hate doing body work. I hate sanding. You see how it is now. And I'll check back with y'all in a little bit. Tomorrow, a couple of days, I don't know. But today is Tuesday and leaving Friday morning. I got the Hartnett uh, mixed, let it set up for a few minutes. And then gonna spread it thin on the diffuser. First layer on, let it sit for 10 minutes. And then we sand. But this is one application of body filler was it 80 grit and then 120 grit and this is pretty smooth so 
I think that I'm done with the body filler and I'm going to hit it with the pro grade glazing putty very thinly. We might paint this joker tomorrow. And we have our glazing putty layer on. This is supposed to sit for 12, 15 minutes. Sand it with 180 followed by 320. And then probably gonna call this done. Let me tell y'all something. Sanding this is a pain in the butt. I have about probably close to two hours into sanding this. So now I'm about to blow it off, wipe it off, degrease it, and get ready for primer. All right, so here we go at eight o'clock at night and it is 54 degrees outside. And we are about to spray some primer. All right, y'all. Ain't even gonna fake the funk. I think I did a pretty good job. And you can't really even tell where I repaired it. Like, you, you legit can't tell where the break was. I'm gonna let it drop for a little bit, and then we're gonna throw that black gloss on there. Boy. But boy, what could that boy's a magician with the rattle can? I can see my reflection a little bit. Joe Bivory, take me to dinner, baby. That ain't in the clear coat. I'll be back. Party people, this is the second coat of clear. I just sprayed it, it's wet. Look at that. Look at it. I'm not wet sanding it. I don't care. Just like I explained when I painted my MV Tuning splitter kit with the exact same stuff, the exact same way. It wasn't quite this cold outside when I did it. But it's on the bottom of the car. I don't care for it to be perfect. I just need it to look decent. This has imperfections. It has trash in the paint. It's wavy. It's on the bottom of the car. I don't care. Like, I don't know why this look like Nardo Gray. But when I tell y'all, you can't tell where the damage was, yo. I think I did all right. But when I tell you, if this bad boy just glosses just half what it is right now, this is going to look a whole lot better than $18 worth of paint. Primer, paint, clear, lows. The next time I see y'all, we will have this out in the daylight and you can really see what it look like. Then after that, we need to be trying to figure out what we need to do to install it on the car. Cause I don't know what the hell those little metal clips are for that came with the kit, but we gonna find out. Look at that. Look at it. I dig it. You know what? I don't think I did too shabby with my little garage rattle can paint job. I think this thing right here looks pretty good. The next episode on this is gonna be the installation because hopefully there's a rise intact, unlike mine. So the next video is gonna be installing this bad boy and how to install it because it comes with no instructions and it comes with metal clips. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.